Today we're gonna take a look at Round Inset, developed by Koshiro CG, the creator behind Mesh Copier, Slight Edge, Face Cutter, and the really popular Grid Modeler, which is a really handy hard surface modeling tool for Boolean workflows, which we actually did a video about a while ago, so if you wanna check it out, you can do that. Now, Round Inset add-on allows you to inset the interfaces of your geometry, similar to the default Blender Inset function. However, this one deals with non-quad geometry or end guns a lot better. We've all been there trying to inset irregular faces, which will usually result in an overlapping mess, and this add-on will help you fix that issue by implementing a better inset operation. The only drawback of this tool is that it only works with connected faces, so it won't work on multiple connected regions, but this might change in the future, of course. A great feature of this tool is that it prevents overlapping corners, as sometimes the scale is non-uniform. The inset would scale across the whole object and not taking into account the small corners which will usually result in overlapping edges or faces. You can use this tool to get a perfect round non-overlapping corner. And if you want faces without round corners, you can set the tool threshold parameter to zero. After installing it, you can use the add-on in the edit mode. If you select a face and right click, you can find the round inset option at the very bottom. For easy access, you can add round inset to your quick favorite menu or assign a dedicated shortcut so that you won't have to scroll down every time. Now, select your end gun and click the round inset. You will see the result right away with a few options to tweak. First, the inset size to adjust the size of your inset. This can take a positive or negative value, in which case the inset will scale outside of the boundary of the shape. The next option you have is size threshold. What this does is shifting anything that is below the threshold value. You can use this to fix issues in your inset when dealing with irregular faces. The scale corner option allows you to control how round or sharp you want your corner to be, and if you take the prevent overlapping options, you can prevent overlapping vertices on your insets. However, you have to merge the vertices together after that. Because while the add-on prevents overlapping, it doesn't auto-merge vertices. And after insetting the face, you can easily bevel it nicely due to the uniformity of the distance between vertices. This add-on is really useful if you do a lot of hard surface modeling and you will definitely find yourself using it more and more, especially if this is where you spend most of your time. It is a great addition and hopefully it will get even better and bigger over time. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.